flip side, all they do is overlook me. Yeah, if things don't pan out, keep it cooking. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about rope climbs and how to make your rope climbs more efficient. So if you're new to the channel here, my name is Jay from Explore the Movement. Uh, I'd highly appreciate it if you go down there, that little square, click it, subscribe, so you get notified when all the latest content come out. But let's get straight on the rope and see if we can make you guys better. Okay, so before we get started, you need to make sure your rope is set up. And we're going to be learning two techniques. So the first technique is the kind of like a wrap around the leg technique and this in it kind of ensures for a very safe uh, connection point but it is a little bit more time consuming so if you're a beginner I would recommend maybe starting off with this it's obviously your choice just because it makes the connection or the anchor a little bit stronger and better uh, and then as you progress and you get stronger and the technique gets better, you can progress into the next one. So the, for the first one, the wrap is going to go around from the middle to the outside so that it wraps around the leg. And then you're going to step with your other foot on top of the rope and curl your toes up with a foot at the bottom to ensure the anchor. This is the first position. <clears throat> so let's go through that again. The rope starts between the legs. You bring the foot in front around and step on the rope. One thing I will say that make sure you wear long pants because when the rope wraps around here, it will take off your skin when you do multiple rope climbs. So make sure that that's something you do before. There's also a sleeve that you can put on or uh, knee sleeves that they put on, but make sure you wear something there because it will take off and you know, nine out of 10 times it also gets infected. Okay, so the second one is a little bit more complex, but it is faster in kind of like cycle time. And uh, this allows you to climb the rope a little bit faster because it has less points. So I'm gonna sit down for that. So the rope is going to go in the middle of the leg, this side of the knee, and then outside of the foot. And as it comes up, you're going to move the other foot around it, bring the rope around, and step on the other foot. Just like that. The rope stays in the middle of the leg, and now you have a secure point to climb. Let's go through that again. So, knee stays on the outside, Foot comes on the inside, we bring it around, we step, and we anchor. So now we have a secure position. It is faster, but it is slightly more complex. One last time. Foot comes on the inside, other foot inside, scoop around, and step. You should also squeeze together here to get a really good positioning point. All right, so this is a method how you can scale it and get some practice in with uh, sitting on a box and not having to worry about how high you're gonna get up the rope. So we're going to practice the first one, which is the wrap around. So for here, the rope is in the middle. We're going to wrap our leg around it, lift it. We're gonna put our other foot on top of it, securing the position. And now we're secure. Now we can lift the body up. So now we all we hold on and we kind of squat or deadlift up into the position and we're secure. So for the second method, the little bit faster one which is a little bit more complex, uh, we're going to put the foot on the outside, on the outside, we're going to bring it up, we're going to wrap around, step on top, get that secure position and now we are in a good position to be able to stand and step on it. Okay, if you were successful in sitting on the box and hooking it and actually getting all the loops and the points and the anchors correct, then you're ready to actually bring it to the high bar. So what you can do here is you can take your rope and tie it to the high bar or the pull-up bar 
or wrap it around and let it hang down. So most people have very, very, very weak grip. So you don't have to worry about the grip position of it. So all we do is we get you to hang on the bar and we're going to practice wrapping around while hanging on the bar, which is much more comfortable. So again, first one, we're gonna do the wrap around. We're gonna hang on the bar completely, wrap around and step. So now we know we can do that. So what we need to practice now with this wraparound is how to actually trap it. So how to actually bring the feet up so that you can anchor it and then pull yourself higher. So wrap around the position. From here, knees go up, step, and we pull up. One more time. Rope is in the middle. Hang completely relaxed. Wrap around, bring the knees up up into the chest, step, and we pull up. Method number two. So for this one, we're gonna do exactly the same as we did prior. Wrap around, rope in the middle, pull up bar for comfort. But this time, we're going to bring the legs out so that we go over the top and then step on each other. So completely start off with a hang, relaxed position. Then foot on the outside, foot on the outside, wrap around, step. Okay, we have the position. Now to make it travel, when your feet are on the outside, you have to scoop it up as high as you can and then step on each other. Again, hang, wrap around, over the top, step, and pull. One more time. Hang completely relaxed, over the top, and pull. Like I said, this method is way faster, but if you are a beginner, I would suggest using the wrap around to kind of secure and learn the position first. All right, now if you think you're comfortable and you're ready to go to the rope, then we go. So when you are ready from the high bar and you have all the wrap arounds and you're able to have a secure anchor, then we can take it to the rope. Now with the rope, the only thing that changes is when you jump up and hold the position, you have to do so with relaxed arms. Too many times we see people jump up and then they hold this kind of half pull up position. That's only going to fatigue you and if you have to go and do a discipline after that, your arms are going to be more fatigued than normal. So we suggest when you jump, you hang with completely relaxed arms to be able to get a more relaxed and more economical climb out of that. So, for us, we're going to do the wrap around first. We're going to come up, we're going to hang completely relaxed, we're going to pull our knees in the wrap around, and then we're going to ascend for one. Arms up, completely relaxed, lift up, step, and up. That's the wrap around, and for the kind of like hook, the little faster one is exactly the same, completely straight arms, you don't need to pull up, you just need to hang and hold on, and then legs come up. Completely relaxed, come up, step, and up to the top position. Well there you have it, a little quick video on uh, how to do the rope climb, how to progress it, it is really easy, put some time into it, spend 7-10 minutes you know, uh, a day trying to practice the rope climb, remember the sleeves on your legs, otherwise it is going to take off the skin. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it, smash the like button, uh, subscribe, share it with your friends, I, I really truly appreciate the channel growing, which it has been. Uh, if you guys like the content and want to see me do more videos, I want you to go down into the comment section, suggest the video, I'll make it, I'll try to explain it to the best that I can. If you guys want training programs, we have loads of those, gymnastics, weightlifting, CrossFit, uh, check out explorethemovement.com and see you next time.